Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to our True Wireless Bud Roundup for the month of August 2020. Now, I'm going to jump right into the earbuds we have. We've got five really good ones for you to pick out from. Uh, some of them are older, some of them are newer, but I've just got a chance to play around with them. I'll let you know we include audio samples from the earbuds as well as microphone samples. So the very first pair are the J Labs uh, Audio Go Air. The Go Air are $30. What I like about them is, first of all, design is pretty slick. You've got something that looks like this. Um, it's a really nice and simple case. The earbuds also fit really well, and they come with some really solid battery life. 20 hours within the case, five hours with the earbuds, so that's almost standard industry, again, for $30. Now, charging is with a built-in USB uh, cable, so that's something you can easily use, and I like that idea, especially with something this cost-effective and cheap, making it simple for everyone to use. Now, you've also got a uh, uh, preset EQs built into the earbud. Triple tap is to change be between the EQs, and uh, it's a it's actually pretty nice. They've got the JLab signature, which gives you some really, I think it's probably the best thing that should give you the most robust sound. Uh, I would say the highs are, are good. Uh, the mids can be a little bit muddled, the lows also as well, but things come up pretty clear. Now, um, I'll give you a quick audio sample from the headphones and then we'll also listen to the microphones as well. Okay, so these are the J Labs Go Air. We're using them indoors, seeing how the microphone sounds indoors, and then we will do the same thing outdoors as well, giving you a sound sample there. So, J Labs Go Air. All right, so these are the J Labs Go Air. Um, we'll see if it gets a little bit windy, see how well it sounds outdoors, walking into some wind. New York City, there might be some honking, but you get a general idea of how the outdoor microphone sounds is on these pair of uh, two wireless. So in terms of audio, you could clearly hear how well it sounded. Like I said, there's some there's some meddling there, but it still is good when you actually listen to them in your ears. Now, the microphone's actually surprisingly decent for its price point. I'll put it that way, and it's something you should take a look at. So for me, the JLab um, Audio Go Airs are solid at $30 and something you should take a look at. So next up are the Earphone Airs. Now, the Earphone Airs are priced at $60. Uh, they are a really interesting pair of true wireless buds. Now, first off, $60 comes with wireless charging right there, off the bat. Uh, they have a very simple looking design. Uh, of course, they've, they've got that long stem to it, but it's got a bunch of features. IPX7 rating, which means, of course, uh, it will last, uh, you know, uh, if you're running, working out, or even in, within the rain. You've got seven hours of play time and 20 out, 28 hours within case. So a lot of, uh, just a lot of uh, battery life for you as well. You can use, of course, each earbud independently. And you've got, of course, touch controls with them. Now, in terms of audio, I do like the audio from them. Uh, the, uh, the highs are good, the mids are okay, the lows are a little bit off but a really nice, clean sound from the earphones uh, as well. So let's take a listen to the audio and then we'll also listen to the microphone of uh, the earbuds for conversation. So these are the earphone air. And we're using them indoors with the microphone, see how it sounds, and then we will take this outdoors as well. But a quick microphone sample indoors, and then, of course, out the microphone. Okay, and these are the Earfun Airs, and we're using them outdoors. A little wind coming in, maybe some honking, some just residual noise. We're outdoors here in New York City, so a good idea of how the uh, Airfun Air actually sounds. So as I mentioned with the audio, again, it's a clean sound. Uh, when it comes to the microphones themselves, I think the microphones are good indoors. Outdoors can be a little bit hit or miss, but again, pretty solid sound all around. You've got also uh, multiple ear tips to pick from as well, but at $59, you really can't go wrong with the Earfun Air. So the very next pair are the J Labs uh, J Buds Air Executive. The Air Executive have that stem design 
and they've got an interesting case. So JLab loves to do the USB cable connected to the case. I think it's a nice idea. Some people may not like it, especially if you damage that cable. But again, it means you can charge your device directly. So there's no USB type C port or anything. Also has wireless charger built in. It's again, it's about 59, 16, $69, depending on which color you get. So that's nice. Wireless charging built into this as well. Now, in terms of battery life, you're looking at 24 hours of battery life, roughly about six hours within each earbud. So you've got that there as well. Uh, you've got auto connect. You can use each earbud you know, individually. They've got cloud foam and they've also got those custom EQs. Again, with J-Labs, I suggest you use a J-Lab signature. I like that the best. I think it gives you a much more robust sound. Um, this of course is a step above the J-Labs uh, Audio Go. And this gives you a much cleaner sound stage, a little bit cleaner sound stage. Uh, the mids come out a bit more, the highs are still good. The lows can be a little bit muddled, but you really will enjoy them. Now, here's a quick audio sample, and then we'll listen to the microphone. All right, so we are indoors with the J Labs Air Executive using the microphones indoors. We'll see how well they sound. And then we'll carry this conversation outdoors to see how well the microphone sounds there as well. Okay, so these are the J Labs Air Executive. A little windy, there might be some honking going on, but you get a good idea of how well it sounds in a windy environment, outdoors, less of that indoors environment. Um, and again, J Labs Air Executive. So the microphone sounds good. Indoors really is, is, is clear, it's, it's good enough. Outdoors, it, the noise canceling really kicks in, try to cancel out a lot of the background noise. So you get some of that artificial filter there. But I think for audio calls, again, really solid here in terms of audio quality. It's uh, $59, $69, depending on where you get it. Solid buy. The next pair of earbuds are the Tronsmart Apollo Bolt. Now, interesting name in here. These are a really unique pair of uh, earbuds because they have a ton of features. They've got uh, active noise cancellation at 35 dB. So you've got 30 hours of playback with uh, 10 hours within uh, the earbuds. So you've got a long time using the earbuds. So you can use them at least for a long period of time. So also got Qualcomm um, Aptex um, Codex with the QC uh, C5124 chipset. So you've got Aptex HD as well. It's got six microphones, uh, which they talk about for good quality uh, all together. Now, 10 minutes of charge will give you, um, you know, an hour of use, all that fun stuff. Uh, really nice pair of headphones to use. The other quality is good, bassy. If you love bass, this is probably the pair you want to go with. It gives you a lot of bass. That's something that I'm not too fond of, but it does give you some nice clean bass. Now, it doesn't take away from the sound stage, the bass itself, as well as the A and C. You can still hear those vocals that really come out and they do a really good job. Now, let's take a listen to some audio and then we'll also take a listen to the microphone off uh, the uh, uh, Apollo Bolt. So these are the Trunt Smart Apollo Bolt. I'm using them indoors. They've got six microphones. So we'll see how well they do well in here. And then we'll move outdoors for, of course, some audio sample as well. All right, so I'm using the Trunt Smart Apollo. There's some wind coming in. It's not honking yet, but okay, the people are honking now. So you get a good idea of how it sounds like with you know, noise, wind, outdoors in the open, if you're using, of course, uh, these uh, microphones. So like I mentioned, audio quality, is, it, it's good. Basic but good. The uh, the microphone um, really does a good job uh, indoors and outdoors. The so six mics really come into play. Uh, you can hear some of the noise canceling features of the microphone uh, trying to just kind of eat themselves out, but they come out pretty well. I think at $99, you really can't go wrong with these. If you're a bass lover, that's the one thing I'll quantify. It really adds into that bass sound and appeal. 
And last but not the least are the brand new Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Now the Buds Live, as you know, uh, are true wireless buds from Samsung, have a very different design and shape. These are open back true wireless buds, so which means they allow a lot of pass through of background sound. So you can hear surroundings around you. They've got that kidney bean shape in terms of the look and design, uh, but uh, they are fit really well. When you're working out or anything, that's not a problem. Now, the other thing over these earbuds is also they have, uh, of course, uh, wireless charging uh, with them. You've got about 28 hours uh, of use and you've got about six hours uh, with ANC and eight hours without. Now, ANC for me is a non-factor in these earbuds. I've mentioned them in my review. I don't think they actually work well, um, but that's just something to take note. Uh, I'll put it there. In terms of the audio quality, soundstage is pretty loud. Uh, it's a really loud soundstage, really uh, good highs, means a solid, and also some really nice space with that bass dock actually pushing things through. So I'm gonna leave you with some audio and then we'll look at, listen to the microphones as well, indoors and outdoors. So these are the Galaxy Buds Live, using the microphone indoors for a conversation, giving you a good example, and then we'll take it outdoors, so see how it sounds there with some wind and New York noise and all that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm outdoors using the Galaxy Buds Live. It's a bit windy and give you an idea of what it sounds like outdoors, some wind, maybe some honking as well, and you get a good idea with all that noise if the microphone actually picks up well enough. So yeah, audio is pretty solid uh, as you would expect and the microphones do a really good job. I think when you're looking for a true pair of true wireless buds, uh, you will find something that will fit you quite well here on this list. Hopefully uh, there's something for you to pick from, whether it's the J Labs Go or the Galaxy Buds Live, um, and which of course are priced at 159. So if you have any questions, any comments, let me know guys. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.